you know, he totally messed up. Um, got to break those bricks in half, but we left mortar in the mixer. Yeah, absolute disaster this morning. I left mortar in the mixer and I just, uh, it's not good. You better not tell Alison. She won't be happy that I've had bacon. I had bacon on the weekend. I never had it for a long time, but she, she won't watch this video, so I hope not anyway. But look at that, boy Barry. Isn't it good that he's made a, a sandwich? Yeah, bacon sandwich, absolutely fantastic. Like, you know, we've got to get on with that though. What's the first thing we're going to do now this morning? Mm. Slow. The tanking, isn't it? The thing is that efflorescence is coming through simply because the bank is on the other side and they haven't tanked the back side and that's where it's coming through in. Awful large amounts of water on that. Um, you can tell me? Yeah. I'm trying to remember now. <laughs> um, and mash. Um, uh, corn beef mash. mash. Yeah. I had a bit of everything I did. Just for the record, we didn't do this fence because I know that people will pick up. I've told Barry about it before, our client, but what they've done, they put the nail on the one side. Instead of nailing through here and through here and through here, holding it all down, holding the one in front and the one behind, they've put it to the right hand side. And uh, there's only one word, I suppose. Shocking. <laughs> I suppose. Look, all these perfect balls are all bold and don't know.
I was uh, I was saying about the nails, wasn't I? And it's um, it's so easy to comment on on other people's work, isn't it? When I'm guaranteed that somebody's going to tell me that I'm doing this the wrong way, like, you know, in some form, like that. You know, that doesn't matter. I'm prepared for not necessarily the onslaught, but certainly what I'm always prepared for is prepared to, to promote good dialogue, and we all learn from it, isn't it? Hopefully, be kind. playing the final against Liverpool this season and it didn't go our way so now it's another opportunity I, uh, I'll be totally honest with you, sometimes you, you see on, on YouTube as well, I watch YouTube, and you look for what the best mixes is, um, and, you know, but, but it's just what works for other people. Like, I think there is a mix that you can get which suits people. We've got, um, I've got a five to one on here, five sharp, and I've put some additives in there. I've put some uh, waterproofer, I've put a little bit of fab, put some lime as, as well in it. The lime makes it... Um, a little bit more softer to work with and it just allows you to move it around. I think the thing that you don't want to do is you don't want it too strong. That's, I think that's the important thing. Um, but it's trying to catch it at the right time. You know, we've got to the halfway mark here and I've started to put it on there. And to be honest, it'd be great when Lee's are helping me because I can come back and catch this up and it, it's, it's actually coming up all right. It's, it's a garden wall at the end of the day. It's, it's not a house and uh, yeah, look, I shouldn't underestimate the garden walls are just as important important because it's at eye level and you've got to get the aesthetics right and uh, maybe we should have put a bead on but what we're going to be doing on here we're going to be putting a coping stone on here as well but I think a bead would have looked better do you think so if we put a bead on first or no or um, this is work isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah as long as you get that finish underneath anyway yeah. you know so there you go uh, let's hope it approves So it's going off nice now, it's just perfect. The thing is about this, it's in the shade here, just here, it's not in direct sunlight. So you avoid the drying out. Remember that probably the most important thing is don't try to do no more than you can handle. Don't try and mix up no more than you can handle. Remember, there's always another day. The thing is, we got my mix absolutely perfect, okay, in my opinion. I know it is because you can see in the results of it. The thing is to remember as well, in this situation, the wall was already built. The point in it wasn't exactly perfect, but we've got the thickness of the render just right. Now, for the final touches.
So well, the question I was going to ask you was, um, what have we learned about this job here? And I, before you have your idea about what we've learned about this job, what I've learned is, even after all these years, is yesterday I was raring to go, okay? I mean, seriously, I was going to try and get down here for about seven o'clock. Seriously, I was going to get down here for seven o'clock and I was going to get the mixer on. So when you come, I'll be well away, like showing off, like, you know, and you, you turn up, like, and see me well into it. And the fact is that it started to rain and as much as I wanted to come down here, you just can't. You're just losing the day, aren't you? you know, I think it's not raining at 1.30, so... And then, it's a lost day, in, in retrospect. But just imagine if I come down here and we would spend time putting sheets on, and then the sheets had a hole in, and water's running down. It would have been a mess, wouldn't it? It would have been a nightmare, yeah. That's what we're about. What was your excuse today, then? <laughs> Cheers. Tell you what I noticed the other day, right, was I was looking back at some of the, on our cloud, on the Google Cloud, where I saved all my photos, 2005, so that was like, what's that, 17 years ago, isn't it? Is it? 2005? Yeah. 15... Yeah, and 2022 now, so, yeah, so, yeah, 17 years ago, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Is it? Yeah, it yeah, is, yeah, yeah, 15, yeah. <laughs> Maths, <laughs> wasn't my favourite <laughs> subject. Here we go, I think I'm losing my mind here. What I was going to say, when I looked at, when I started my account, well, when I started it the second time, the other one was deleted, I used to have black hair and a little bit thin on top, but now I'm an old man. So, I got Lee's done, but I've had a real hard day today. He's over there, he's not listening there. But the customers here are Barry. Um, John? Just want to say thank you for the sandwich today. Bacon was done absolutely perfect. The egg was absolutely, it's that je ne sais quoi. The way you flip the egg, um, it's all in the wrist action, isn't it? I've got a good wrist action. Yeah, yeah and um... that's not implying anything filth there, because it was absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Um, Seriously, uh, progress today. Are you, are you happy? No, but don't say it if you don't want. No, to. no, I will. I'll be honest with you, John. I think the progress was fantastic. You, yeah. you got here early doors, got on with the bits, and no, you did. You were you were early, early today, and um, really early, and uh, got on with um, the, the wall. And it's looking fantastic. It really yeah, is. Yeah. So we got the render done, but there was a little point today where I was a little bit worried because the rain started coming over. Like you know, cause, yeah. But it was really frustrating for me yesterday because I was all geared up to be down here and get the mix on before Lee arrived, and it didn't happen because the rain came in, didn't it? I guess the conditions have got to be right, John. Mm. You know. And, How do you um, feel like when when contractors say to you, like a contractor says to a customer, look, you know, if we can't do it, we can't do it. Honestly, John, put my trust in you. Yeah, trust with me, you. like, but you, yeah. yeah, you've got to have some faith in God. Well, well, it makes sense though. If it's if it's raining and you've just done all that work, it's going to wash it away. So yeah. I get I get that. You don't want to take a risk in there, but it's looking absolutely spot on out there. But for us, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. So. Um, really important what your customer says no but as as a contractor what happens sometimes is that the customer will say well it wasn't raining in the afternoon but, how do but, we deal with that as a contractor how do we deal with those situations right? yeah but i mean these jobs take a number of hours to, to sort out don't they you can't just yeah. do it in a couple of hours so i mean it might be all right in the afternoon but um but you're best off starting and i understand that you've got to start this in cooler conditions haven't you in with rendering yeah rendering, stuff. yeah absolutely yeah. you know because you don't want that in complete sunshine the thing is when we were doing it i think there's a bit of sunshine on there now but uh it, there was nothing on there when we were doing it so yeah. it, it, it'll be all right so I'm, just, I'm not making excuses here. No, 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 you're not. And it looks absolutely spot on. The kids and the wife are going to be really chuffed when they come back seeing the, you know. Really? The, yeah, I think so. I'm oh, good. I think rendering walls, I mean, massive difference. Massive difference um, when you come back. He's going to watch it sometime. Ryan's not here, right? And yeah. Do you think Lee's filled his space? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an awkward <laughs> <laughs> We'll end on that note. Cut. Ryan's going to score. <laughs> good having a bit of banter with Barry. Barry's been so nice, he's such a lovely customer and uh, really understanding and uh, I see if he's understanding when we give him a bill. Barry.